troops. They cannot succeed without the support of the people. We cannot succeed without the support of our people. I am happy to see that the reaction throughout the country is favorable. I have received hundreds and hundreds of telegrams from all corners of the Philippines congratulating you and incidentally me for the proclamation of martial law, for the sudden cessation of anarchy and of criminality throughout the land and uh, of uh, the uh, re-establishment re of an atmosphere of brotherhood amongst Filipinos. Now everybody seems concerned about his neighbor. Now everybody seems to uh, be involved in the destiny, not only of himself, but of the entire country and of the entire nation. And this is what we have been hoping and praying for. I repeat, it is necessary to reform in order to attain the uh, victory that we uh, seek. It is necessary that uh, we um, uh, attain all the objectives that we have set. These objectives are, we must give to the poorest man whatever is his due. The rich man must now understand that this is a new kind of society. We will protect his rights. For whether he is rich or poor, he has rights. And uh, those rights are as sacrosanct as the right of uh, the military. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat mga kapatid. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa pagsasalita ni Apo Marcos President. Ferdinand E. Marcos noong siya ay nabubuhay pa at uh, magbasa tayo ng mga comment ng mga uh, nakinig sa video ito sabi ni Kent Kulitz natandaan ko pa noong elementary pa lang ako ang sabi ng teacher namin si Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos daw ang nagtatag ng martial law naging diktator at nagpahirap ng maraming tao ngayon na Nagkaisip na ako at narinig ko kung paano siya magsalita ay humanga agad ako sa kanya. At naisip ko na imposib imposible yung mga nalaman ko noon tungkol sa kanya sa mga negati na mga negatibo. Kaya nagsasaliksik ako at pinalawak ko ang aking kalaman at ngayon ay hindi na ako kaya pang linlangin ng mga Aquino at ng lahat ng mga dilawans dahil alam ko na ngayon ang totoo kung sino talaga ang nagmahal sa bansa natin at sa mga mayan ng bansang Pilipinas at kung sino talaga ang tunay na bayani kahit ilang beses ko siya marinig na magsalita ay hindi ako nagsasawa kahit paulit-ulit sobrang galing niya magsalita at napakaliwanag ang mga sinasabi niya noong panahon niya marami libreng pagkain at mura ng mga bilhin ng mga gamot kahit sa ospital Ferdinand Marcos is the real hero of our country Bongbong Marcos for president ang sabi ng isang Russell sabi niya what a great vision of President Marcos this is how it should be mga magandang comment tungkol sa speech ni Pangulong Marcos galing mag speech ni President Marcos walang binabasang guide President Ferdinand E. Marcos, the best, the speech of a true leader. Yan ang mga comment na mga nanood sa speech sa, sa video nito mga kapatid. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy mga kapatid, subscribe naman po ang George Sar Vlogs para dumami naman ang subscribers natin. Medyo kukunti pa lang. At uh, ituloy natin yung pagbabasa mga kapatid bago natin tignan yung video or panuorin yung video. Pagpatuloy mo natin yung mga pagbasa ng mga komento ng mga nakinig sa video nito so proud of this president so smart you can observe how it's smart and brilliant he is by just this video much more to his accomplishments in our country ano mga sabi no? tapos mayroon isang OFW nag comment our whole family from my grandfather and his siblings my father aunt and uncle were once a server of the rich family our village was their hacienda with a total land areas of about 500 hectares and after martial law declared the reform was declared and all of the server of those hacendero from our village become a landowner my grandfather got three hectares which he divided for his 10 children including my father that's why 
Marco says never lose in our barangay they are always number one here when election comes yan ang mga comment ang gaganda ng mga comment ng mga nag comment dito sa video ito mga kapatid grabe ka talaga President Marcos sa iyo lang ako nag pa comment sa dami ko pinanood na video sa youtube sabi niya first time daw siyang mag comment sa dami ang napanood niya sa youtube such an intelligent and brilliant leader a very brilliant president we ever had I'm a certified farmer, farmer and always be when going home. Marcos senior speech was delivered from the heart. Yet, all of the presidents after him, from Corazon to Nainoy Aquino, made a speech from a piece of paper and still looking at papers. <laughs> a visionary leader who thinks ahead of his time. Just look at his legacy now, so proud of former president. Fernand E. Marcos Sabi ni Pinoy ako Guys, I'm a Filipino I have a question Why is this guy speaks better than all of our presidents combined? Sabi ni Dennis I understand now Marcos is, a, is the greatest My grandma said to me that Marcos was a great president But after him, everything just went wrong I understand why he did this And why he is a good president Sabi ni Barlag I remember my dad when I was in grade school. He was always glued on TV watching President Marcos' speeches. And will say, Marcos is so brilliant. He doesn't read or have notes. Always remember dates and names of people. Marcos was a genius. Yan mga kapatid, ang mga... Ang mga komento ng mga ating mga kababayan natin na nanood, nanood sa video ito. So, ito pa yung iba. Even if you are a janitor or poor, your, your rights must be protected. The only president I've seen upright say it. Ito pala yung president no, noong 60s, 70s, 80s. May diin na sincerity yung pananalita niya. The great and brilliant president of all time. President Marcos talking with full of authority and power. President Fernand Marcos deserved the greatest honor. Bless your soul. Now I know. You're a great hero, sir. I salute you. So yan muna mga kapatid. Mga komento ng mga kababayan natin na nanood sa video ito. Salamat po ng marami. Panoorin natin ang video. Salamat. ...of troops. They cannot succeed without the support of the people. We cannot succeed without the support of our people. I am happy to see that the reaction throughout the country is favorable. I have received hundreds and hundreds of telegrams from all corners of the Philippines congratulating you and incidentally me for the proclamation of martial law, for the sudden cessation of anarchy and of criminality throughout the land, and of uh, the uh, re-establishment of an atmosphere of brotherhood amongst Filipinos. Now everybody seems concerned about his neighbor. Now everybody seems to be involved in the destiny, not only of himself, but of the entire country and of the entire nation. And this is what we have been hoping and praying for. I repeat, it is necessary to reform in order to attain the uh, victory that we uh, seek. It is necessary that uh, we um, uh, attain all the objectives that we have set. These objectives are, we must give to the poorest man whatever is his due. The rich man must now understand that this is a new kind of society. We will protect his rights. For whether he's rich or poor, he has rights. And uh, those rights are as sacrosanct as the right of uh, the military to uh, dignity and uh, to uh, a um, uh, reputation and a standard of proficiency to which he is entitled. Thus it is uh, important that uh, we must uh, tell everybody and uh, I ask you to do this, to go out uh, to uh, your assignments, to your respective areas, to your units, to your uh, area of operations and tell everyone that every citizen in this country has rights and those rights will be protected, whether he is a businessman or a mere janitor. 
whether he is a tenant or a landowner. Those rights should be protected, but we will treat each other as brothers.